We've done a lot of work as part of the um, 100,000 Genome Project uh, with the uh, uh, Genomics England and the Department of Health. We've done a lot of work on trying to push the boundaries, essentially by saying, well, by the time you've done deletion analysis, mutation analysis, maybe um, translocations and, and other hematological malignancies, you may as well do whole genome sequencing and interpret the whole genome in a way that is then diagnostically useful. And um, so we have a... Um, a <laughs> Now, preliminary data, we're still in the process of going through this, but on the first 60 uh, samples from the um, gel CLL pilot, uh, we have written clinical reports, validated the findings, and then written clinical reports from whole genome sequencing. So, uh, so we can report not just um, you know the, the, what is very clinically relevant, so deletions and mutation of TP53, but we can also report um, uh, other findings very reliably. So we have a concordance with the conventional technologies now that is over 80, 85 percent, and where it's not concordant, we we also understand that actually it's the whole genome sequencing that is more precise and. Not not the conventional technology. So, uh, so I'm very optimistic that the um, that this whole 100,000 genome program will allow us to introduce sequencing into the um, into into routine diagnostics, and it will help, of course, also to generate the data for research and for future um, you know, biomarker discovery.